Hey gang, Brainy Nerd Tutor here, and in this video, we're going to go through one more average mass equation. This one sometimes tricks people up, but it's not going to trip you up. So, because we're going to go through it, and you're after this, you should be an expert at average mass problem. So uh, this is the typical question that comes up. What is the percent abundance of some element? In this case, it's indium, uh, indium-113. If the only other stable isotope is indium-115. Now, we don't have a lot of information here given to us, uh, do we? So we want to know the percent abundance. So not fractional abundance, but percent abundance. That's our, our question mark. And we're given just these, these stable isotopes here. Uh, so it's always good to start off with the equation. So the average mass equation, average atomic mass, equals fractional abundance of isotope one times mass of isotope one plus fractional abundance of isotope two times mass of isotope two. And again, if there's more isotopes, then we would just add on to this. Now, we don't know fractional, fractional abundances, or, and we don't have the average mass. All we, really, we have masses here, we have the, the main masses, but we need to get this average mass uh, somehow, and we wanna solve for the fractional percent abundance of one of these isotopes here. So to get the average mass, we head off to the periodic table. And I just happen to have one here. And now you gotta find indium. And indium is right over here. So indium has an average mass, average atomic mass of 114.818. So we'll put that as 114.818 U. Now we don't know the fractional abundance of either of them, do we? But since there's only two stable isotopes, then the total abundance of both isotopes has to equal 100%. So percent abundance of the first one plus the percent abundance of the second one has to equal 100% because there's only two isotopes. And remember the fractional abundance is equal to the percent abundance divided by 100%. So if we convert this equation into fractional abundances, we can say the fractional abundance of one plus the fractional abundance of the other one has to equal one. We just divide everything by 100%. So now we don't know a fractional abundance of any one of these R. So we'll just, we'll say that this one represents indium 113. One, one, three, indium. So we want to solve for that. So we'll just call it F1. And the mass of indium 13 is 113U. If you don't know what unified atomic mass units, I got a video on that. Now, we don't know what F2 is, but we can solve for F2 in terms of F1. So if we use this equation here, we solve for F2. F2 equals one minus F1, and we'll plug that, so F2 equals one minus F1, we'll plug that in, one minus F1, that's what F2 is, and mass of the second one, second isotope is 115. So there we go, we now have an average mass, we now have the fractional abundances, all in terms of just one number, this F1, so now we can solve for F1. 114.818 U equals 113 U F1 plus, now we'll expand this in here, 115 U minus 115 U F1. We'll bring this term to the other side, so we'll subtract both sides by 115 U. So that'll be 114.818 U minus 115 U atomic mass units, unified atomic mass units. And now this is this term's gone, right? So all we have left is are these terms on the right hand side. We're going to factor out the F1. Okay. Factor out the F1. 
So to do that, we'll have 113u minus 115u f1. And see how this f1, there's an f1 in each term, I just factored it out. If we expand this back into the brackets, we would get the same thing. Okay. And now we divide both sides by 113 minus 115u. So we got 114.818u minus 115u, all divided by 113u minus 115u. That equals the fractional abundance of indium 113. If we plug that into the calculator, 114.818 minus 115 divided by 113 minus 115. And you should get a positive number. If you get a negative number, then you've done something wrong. It's 0 0.091 is the fractional abundance. So the percent abundance, uh, abundance equals, multiply that by 100. So 9.1%. This is of one indium 113. So the percent abundance of indium 115, of course, would be 100 minus that. So the 90, 90.9, 90.9%. 90 that would be the other one. But this is the one we're solving for right here. So it's much more abundant in indium 115. And the average mass here is 114.8. So it's closer to 115 than it is to 113 because the 115 isotope is more abundant. All right, my friends, that's it for the average mass equations and examples. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Cheers.